Right, ah, uh, Lucrezia Millerini, an ITV newsreader. She'll be answering questions on Die Hard. And... Bees? Your name is? Lucrezia Millerini. Your occupation? News presenter and journalist. Your chosen charity? Dogs on the Street. And your chosen subject? Die Hard. Die Hard, the 1988 action-adventure film in 90 seconds. Starting now, the New York detective John McClane, played by Bruce Willis, flies into Los Angeles where his wife, Holly, has taken a job as a senior executive. What day of the year? Christmas Eve. Yeah. Holly works for the Nakatomi Corporation, who are holding an office Christmas party in their building when a gang of criminals takes them hostage. The party is held on which floor of the building? 30th. Yep. What's the name of the boss of the Nakatomi Corporation in California? Hans Gruber, played by Alan Rickman, admires his suits before he tries to force him at gunpoint to share computer codes and says, I could talk about industrialization and men's fashion all day, but I'm afraid work must intrude. Uh, Joseph Takagi. Yeah. McLean goes to an unfinished floor of the building above the party to call for help, but the phone is being cut off. What word does he say to himself twice as he tries to work out what to do? Help. Think. What company name is written on the side and back of the lorry used by the criminals? Gruber appears from out of the back of it in the car park of the Nakatomi building. Pacific Courier. Yep. Yeah. What's the name of the LAPD officer who's buying treats for his pregnant wife at a shop when a call comes in to check out a Code 2 at the Nakatomi building? Sergeant Al Powell. Yes. Al Powell reports into HQ that there's nothing wrong at Nakatomi Plaza till a body lands on the bonnet of his car. Whose body? Marco. Yeah. McLean tells Gruber that he admires a television cowboy because of his sequined shirts and uses his first name as an alias when he's talking to Al Powell on the radio. What's the television cowboy's full name? Boy Rogers. Yeah. An academic is interviewed on a television news channel and talks of a syndrome that involves psychological transference between hostage and hostage taker. The syndrome is referred to not as the Stockholm syndrome, but by the name of a different European capital city. Which Helsinki. one? Helsinki. Helsinki is correct. No passes. Lucrezia, you <laughs> also have... Eight points. OK, thank you. Ooh. And our final... <laughs> the scores in fourth place, five points. Scarlet, third place, six points. Stephen, joint first place, eight points apiece. Matt and Lucrezia, the general knowledge round of this. Well, on the TV. And get paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> you got two minutes TV time. What did he say to you? He's lose that dignity. It's... And then as a reporter for BBC Six Music. Again, please. <laughs> okay. And uh, you uh, are a newsreader. I am indeed. But you very nearly did a thing with Bruce Willis, didn't you? Because <laughs> you did Die Hard earlier, of course. Yes, I did pick Die Hard. I do love the movie. Um, before I was a newsreader, I was an entertainment correspondent. So I did a red carpet. I used to do lots of red carpets, actually. And I was super excited because I was, everything was fine. Yep, yeah, Bruce is going to be there, 6.15, live. We're going to go live hit with him. Get stuck in London traffic, didn't get to meet him. So, yeah, a, a huge missed opportunity there. But um, maybe one day. I'm sure he'll make another Die Hard movie. <laughs> what about being a newsreader? There are those who say that television news is at its day because kids don't watch it. Rubbish. Scarlett, you're a massive fan, aren't you, of the news? Yes, see, she every said yes. Every night at... She said yes. Six o'clock. Well, every night. <laughs> yeah. Oh, OK. Um, no, I think, you know, I, I, I think it's just changed. How we deliver the news, um, how we consume news as well, it's all changed. Yeah, of course, there's all sorts of social media outlets now. Yeah, you're into Twitter, Instagram. But I think, you know, there's always a good place for good, strong, independent journalism, and that's really important. Now, let's see how you do with your general knowledge, Oof. because 16 at the moment... Yeah, no pressure. ...is the score to be, so Cheers no pressure that. at all. You have eight points to start with, OK. Though. So, right. here we go. The symbol in an email address, which consists of a lowercase a, partially enclosed by a circle, is read aloud as a two-letter word. What word? At. Yes. The characters Mick and Linda Carter were introduced in 2013 as the pub landlords in which television soap? One flow of the cookies now. EastEnders, the common name of a large ape native to parts of Southeast Asia, comes from a Malay word that means forest person or man of the forest. Which ape? Orangutan. Yep. Yeah. In June 1902, the coronation of a British king had to be postponed for about six weeks because he'd become ill and had to have emergency surgery. Which king? Uh, 
George V. Not Edward the Seventh. Oh. The Rembrandt House Museum and the Van Gogh Museum are art galleries in which European capital city? Amsterdam. Yep. A technology entrepreneur born in South Africa who often appears in lists of the world's wealthiest people, co-founded the company SpaceX and Tesla, among others. What's his name? Elon Musk. Yep. What name is given to a handheld percussion instrument made of a pair of wooden shells held together by a cord? Comes from the Spanish word for chestnut. Maracas. Castanets. The Brenner Pass in the Alps connects Italy with which other country? Switzerland. Austria. In netball, the letters GA on a player's bib indicate which position? Goal attack. Yes, in 1929, J.M. Barry donated the copyright for his novel and play Peter Pan to a children's hospital in London. What's the name of the hospital? Great Ormond Street. Yeah, in the 1992 film Malcolm X, the title character is portrayed by which actor? Denzel Washington. Yes, in English hard cheese, which can be either single or double, and the breed of cattle, whose milk is traditionally used to make it, both bear the name of a city between Bristol and Worcester. What city? Gloucester. Yeah. Which singer, who had a UK hit with her debut album in 2017, was nominated in five categories at the following year's Brit Awards and topped the UK albums chart in 2020 with Future Nostalgia? Dua Lipa. Yeah. What name is usually given to raised metal ribs on the fingerboard of stringed instruments, such as the guitar, that regulate the fingering? Frets. Yep. In 1671, the crown jewels were briefly stolen from the Tower of London by a group led by a former soldier. What was his name? John McLean. <laughs> I'm afraid not. <laughs> it was Thomas Blood. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That doesn't matter because you have now 18 points. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So, let's have a look at the final scores. In fourth place with 10 points, Stephen. In third place with 11 points, Scarlett. Second place with 16 points, Matt. In first place with 18 points, Lucrezia, which means that she takes home the trophy and is tonight's Celebrity Mastermind winner. And Stephen was putting it about that if you won, you would share the trophy with him. Is that is that true? We had a little deal going on beforehand, mm. didn't we? we? Did, yeah. we're both we both live in London, yeah. so um a couple of months your house, a couple of months my house. I'm up for that. But I'm even, I'm yeah. up for sending it up to Durham with Scarlett. Matt, a couple of months. Well everybody. So not? you'll well, each have not? it for three months. <laughs> Yeah, I did say that I would share the trophy with Stephen if I won. However, on reflection, I am going to perform a U-turn on that and say, no, it's all mine, Stephen. Sorry. Can't have it.